Hi, my name is Dennis Heil. I'm the technical instructor for Ventrac. Today we will be covering how to properly perform an engine oil change on a Ventrac 4500. Tools needed to perform the engine oil change are an 11 16 wrench, a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, an oil filter wrench, personal protective equipment, and a drain pan with at least four quart capacity. For peak performance and operation of the tractor, we recommend the continued use of the Ventrac engine oil. Ventrac's premium full synthetic engine oil is specifically formulated to provide superior lubrication in gasoline and diesel engines that operate under severe conditions and in extreme temperatures. The steps are similar with all engine options, but you should refer to your owner's manual for specific instructions. Before changing your oil, you must start the engine and let it run until it is at operating temperature. Once your tractor is parked on a level surface, go ahead and engage the parking brake, shut the engine off, and remove the key from the ignition. At this point, you can open the hood of the tractor, and if it is so equipped, remove the right side engine cover. After removing the right side engine cover, we want to place a drain pan underneath the oil drain plug. This is located just in front of the hydraulic oil filters. And drain the engine oil while the oil is still warm. Go ahead and remove the engine oil filter, which is located on the right side of the engine. Wipe down the oil filter mounting surface. Place a light coat of oil on the O-ring or the seal for the new filter. And turning it clockwise, install it back onto the engine until the oil filter seal contacts the sealing surface and then rotate another one half to three quarters of a turn. After that, go ahead and install the oil drain cap back onto the tractor ensure that you do not over tighten it. At this point, you can go ahead and remove the oil fill cap off of the top of the engine and fill it with the proper amount of engine oil. We recommend the continued use of Ventrac full synthetic 10W30 engine oil. And place the engine oil cap back on the tractor. Each engine is different. Make sure you refer to your owner's manual for your specific engine type. We want to go ahead and run the tractor for approximately two to three minutes, shut the engine off, remove the key from the ignition, and check for leaks. After allowing the tractor to cool for two to three minutes, go ahead and check the engine oil level and add any oil if necessary. At this point, you can go ahead and install your right side engine guard back onto the tractor. Thank you for watching this video. For more specific instructions and steps on how to do a proper engine oil change for your specific engine, make sure you refer to your owner's manual.